for one leg at a time She knows she's cool, she knows she's fine She's wild, drinks tequila straight She ain't shy, she'll try anything the background looks strange because I'm not at my house. I'm actually house-sitting for my friend Susie and her husband David. Uh, if you guys have seen any of my other vlogs, you've probably seen Susie. She's my partner in crime in a lot of these vlogs that I do. And uh, they're out of town this weekend, so I'm house-sitting for them. And believe it or not, I found a corner in her house with brick and graffiti. A few weeks ago, I hung out um, at the Bluebird where my friend Victoria Banks was playing. The Bluebird is this quaint little cafe that is known actually all over the country for having the greatest writer's nights in Nashville. Scott, where are you from? I'm from Baltimore. Baltimore! And what attracts you to the Bluebird Cafe? I saw you taking pictures of it. Um, you know, just the, the music, just the tradition here. I mean, this is pretty well known, I guess. So you've um, heard of the Bluebird yeah, in Baltimore. Right, right. The writer's round was actually born there at the Bluebird. It, there are two different formats in songwriter nights. They're called In the Row and In the Round. And when we're on stage, we're in a row, so obviously in the row. Tonight we're in the round where we sit facing each other and the audience sits around outside behind us. And it's more of a sort of more communicating with each other, telling stories, singing along with each other. So it's a little more intimate this way. Yeah, so, uh, you know, Paul's living the bachelor life. And, Where's your stuff now, Paul? And, uh, <laughs> yeah, at the dump. But... You're breaking out the big guns. <laughs> so I, was going, I see how it's going to be. <laughs> love with the song Saints and Angels that Victoria had written for Sarah Evans and I sent Victoria an email and told her how much I liked it and she emailed me back and I thought oh my god this chick is really cool. Oh, I got an angel on my left side, I got a devil on my right. So a few years later when I moved to Nashville one of the first things that I went to was a benefit concert she was playing at the Mercy Lounge. And why is that apple taste so sweet if you can't take a bite? Victoria's set was over, I panicked for a second because I thought, how am I going to get to talk to her? So I just stood up, got on stage, and went and talked to her. She's super cool. Well, I got bad on things to do and cry over what we have. She actually met me on the side of the stage later and we chatted and she would go uh, backstage and hang out with the cool people and then she would come out and listen to the other writers and stand by me and chat with me, you know, the uncool person. And I ain't bad. During one of the moments that Victoria came out to hang with me and check out the other songwriters, Matresa Berg got up on stage and performed. And as we're watching her, I realized that Victoria was watching Matresa with the same intensity and admiration that I had been watching Victoria with. And then Victoria said something like, um, man, I really wish I could write like that or I hope to write like that someday. And I just was in awe because here was this accomplished songwriter standing beside me and she was humbled in, in the presence of, of another songwriter. And um, I just thought that was really cool. Jason 
Jason Blaine was in the writer's round. He is a Canadian singer-songwriter. He has a duet out with Victoria called Don't Leave the Leavin' and it's out on Canadian radio right now. Victoria has often done writer's rounds with her good friend Lisa Brokaw. She's written lots of stuff with Victoria and she's got a total of six studio albums and has charted more than 20 singles on music charts in Canada. As far as female vocalists go, I mean, I could listen to Trisha Yearwood all day long and Lisa Brokaw. To round out the group was Paul Jefferson, who is Lisa Brokaw's husband. He co-wrote Aaron Tippin's number one song, That's As Close As I'll Get To Loving You. I am from the, the uh, country music capital of the world, San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> he and Lisa have a duo thing that they're doing, and they call themselves the Jeffersons. That's as close as I'll get to loving you. What is your most, uh, what, the thing you're most proud of? Actually, most recently, this um, flood relief project that I've been working on. As most of you know, Nashville is a, is a, a city in recovery. Tennessee is a state in recovery after the flooding that happened at the beginning of May. And um, I, I wrote this song the day after the flood happened, um, and it has grown into something bigger than I even dreamed it could be. Um, 35 artists helped me record it including these folks here. Yay! And it's a song that I wrote um, uh, in honor of Nashville to try and raise some money for the, um, for the flood victims. All of the proceeds from all of it go to the Nashville Red Cross for flood relief. So... I made it into a video and now it's starting to air on JC and CMT Canada and so it's pretty exciting. Honky tonk angels and old troubadours Souls and lovers with hearts on their sleeves. I am your city of dreams. I ran into Dave Petrelli in the audience. Dave works over at NSAI. Hey guys, my name is Dave Petrelli. I'm the event director at National Songwriting Association. And for those of you who may not know, NSAI recently bought the Bluebird Cafe. NSAI does such wonderful things, both for aspiring songwriters and professional songwriters, so I just think it's altogether fitting and proper that they own such a piece of Nashville history. It's such an important thing for songwriters, and so much history here, um, and NSAI is proud to be a part of it. Dave is also Victoria's boyfriend. <clears throat> Dave? Yes. Do you know any of the songwriters? I know all of the songwriters. I and do you have a favorite one? I do have a favorite one. Um, Jason Blaine is amazing. Uh, Victoria is taken for all you people who's mine. And Victoria Banks is fantastic and, and uh, I love being with her. I love getting to see her perform. She'll try anything, she'll dance and